Hello guys, this is Rez, and today we're going to talk about the component tree. So that little feature is over here. And why are we going to talk about it? Because this is how everything, your widgets and your whole layout or your whole activity is designed. Right? Eventually we go back on the text and you'll see the text, which is the XML, is also designed the same way. So knowing this component tree, you'll have a better understanding of how to manipulate your layout completely. So currently, I made it so it only shows my main thing, right? My own main window. I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you guys could see everything and it should be perfect. Currently, I have a text view and an edit text and image button. So right away, you kind of see what's already in there. And activity main being everything I have, right? What's being my ba uh, basically my layout, my whole layout. So if I delete that, everything would get deleted. Why? Well, you got to see this component tree as a box and inside that box there's a bunch of other tools like the text view is currently there, the edit text and the image button. If that box get deleted, all those three other things that are within the box would also get deleted, right? So to give you a better sense of this, I'm just going to scroll down in my stuff and go to the layout area. So I'm just going to drag, let's say, a layout, uh, linear layout vertical. Okay, and I'm just going to put it here, whatever, it doesn't matter right now. We're going to figure this out more. Maybe drag it a bit so it takes a bit of the full screen. Okay, so now I have a linear layout. This is basically saying I have another box. By the way, you could do this with pretty much every widget you have, but for now, let's stick to this. So now I have this linear layout. I'm going to add this image button inside my linear layout, and let's see what happens. Notice something. First, before we move on, that everything could overlap each other especially when we do a relative layout in the case of this one relative layout if you look at the dimensions it takes my whole screen and my text view is behind this so by this you should understand that everything added under or in this case like under each other inside the component tree it will be placed in front of other things if they overlap in the current location they are at. So obviously if I made this to not take the whole screen you would be able to see my hello world text and so forth. So. And if I wanted to, well let's do something else. Let's uh, add the edit text here and I'm just gonna put a hint in it. My edit, well my edit text just doing this so we could see it. My edit text is over here. We're going to also drag that inside my linear layout. Okay. Now notice. Linear layout kind of layouts everything one by one as the image is showing right under each other. So the first one takes the whole thing. The next one is again under it and so forth. So. The little world is kind of being shown because the linear layout is kind of saying, hey, I want everything kind of placed in the middle. And from the middle, we'll just move it on. This is for another session. For now, let's just still kind of figure out this component tree. Now again, if I delete this, you, you see that everything else is deleted because they're all part of something. They're all a parent or a child of something. So if the parent gets deleted, obviously the child never exists, right? Think of it logically like in the real world. Now, if we add the hello world inside there too, you could see that everything is going to be kind of placed at a different level, right? If you notice, as I put my mouse over it, the button is taking this little line thing. Um, how would you say it? Dash lines. This is basically the area given from my linear layout to my image button and so forth and so on. We'll come back to, to these linear layouts later on. But for now, just figure out this activity main, right? So we could probably drag other stuff into other stuff, but it's going to have to let us do it, right? So you could see I can't drag my image button to edit text because it doesn't make sense when you were trying to type, right? But I could drag it outside, and it kind of looks like this, okay? Now, look at this way of structuring. You should by now kind of understand this box inside of a box, right? These tools are inside that box. That box belongs there. We go inside the text, you're going to see the same design as I see in my component tree inside my XML version. Right? So we have the main relative layout. So let's go back here. This is our activity main relative layout. 
inside relative layout so just I'm going to minimize it to show you that they're all belonging there and for some reason it's not letting me minimize that's great apparently I can't minimize anything okay that's great so just notice by the tabs that kind of tells you that linear layout is a child of relative layout so if we go back in the design linear layout is a child of relative layout and only that one is a child of that nothing else is part of it however linear layout has three children of itself the image button that we added the edit text and the text view okay so you kind of get a sense that this image button and edit text are basically a grandchild of relative layout but the parent is really linear layout obviously if something happens to relative layout it's going to affect linear layout which is also going to affect image button right the same case where we're saying if well the linear layout gets deleted every child gets deleted well what if the relative layout gets deleted everything would get deleted right so you kind of got to understand this little sense of that uh, of XML okay in the next video we'll talk more about XML and a bit more of what type of stuff is in there for now this is it just make sure you practice with the component tree kind of figure out how it works and so forth so on and we'll do a later video about layouts and how to use them because they make your life much easier see you guys this is Rez hopefully you'll subscribe and let me know what you think bye